Howdy, howdy there, champs, and welcome to the show. Today we have the Cabby Lake version of the Dell XPS 13. Yes, I say Cabby Lake because the actual real name of the lake is Cabby Nabagami or something like that. It's an Indian word, native Indian, not, not Session Tendilka MS Stoney Indian, native Indian. And they shortened the name of Cabby Nabagami and they just call it Cabby Lake. So it's not Cabby as many people say. So let's crack on. It's just a dirty raw unboxing of it. This one here is the um, i5, no, sorry, i7, six, i7, 7200U processor. And of course, this isn't much different from the old XPS 13 or last year's model. The basic differences are the Cabby Lake processor and Intel HD620 graphics. Has a larger battery now, so it goes from 56 watt hours to 6 to 60 watt hour battery. So that's so that should be a little improvement there and as you can see very small box tiny have a look how small that is it is tiny very classy matte black box there very small look at my hand it is small and another difference is it has killer wi-fi so that's a great thing and the 16 gig version i think has 2133 megahertz ram in it now when you buy a dell xps 13 you want to get the maximum amount of ram you can because it is not upgradable it is soldered on and you will not be able to upgrade it so there you go that's the box and let's crack it open so with the improvements of the cabby lake slightly larger battery should be getting better battery life that does not want to stay up so there it is and it's beautiful rose gold i love this color and I've said it before with the Dell XPS 13, the last model I've reviewed, which you can check out. It is the sexiest Ultrabook out there. Now I'll be doing a full review on this, gaming reviews, many reviews on it. Also I'll be doing review on the Pixel phone, comparing that to the iPhone 7, the MacBook Pro when it comes out, and the XPS 15 when that comes out there, pretty much the devices I'm looking forward to reviewing, but I'm definitely going to be doing many reviews on this, gaming reviews. We'll have a look at how it performs and anything you want to know on this Dell XPS 13. Make sure you subscribe so you see all those videos. So let's take off the cellophane, my favorite part. There you have it. I think you'll agree I'll shine that in the light there this thing is gorgeous and so small you really have to see this to appreciate how beautiful it is I mean the Dell XPS 15 is the same design but this one just looks that much better because it's just petite and small and somehow the design of this even though the XPS 15 you know is a great looking machine it, it just looks so much better in a small format the service flap there your ventilation your rubber feet there or rubber bars there now it's easy to upgrade this however the only thing you can upgrade is the ssd and it's an m.2 ssd you just get t5 screwdrivers and take these off and then you'll have access to the m.2 ssd so make sure when you buy this xps 13 you get as much ram as you can now it's interesting to note that, that flaps a different colored gold than this i don't know if that's intentional or not it doesn't look too bad i guess 
and a beautiful finish metallic rose gold i love it let's open her up and there you have that awesome carbon fiber palm rest there these do have great track pads but everything on this is pretty much the same as the last generation so if you want to check out that review you can so there you can see the gorgeous infinity display there this is the quad hd touch version you can get a full hd 1080p version and also in that brown box was one of these was a box like this and in there come the power brick and the power cable and as you can see this this brick is small smaller than the trackpad there and this display is beautiful and touch i don't use touch on my xps 15 that much because it's actually too big of a laptop to do that with something like this 13 inch laptop touch works really well and i think with the battery savings you're going to get from kb lake a tiny little bit of battery savings compared to sky lake plus the 60 watt hour battery compared to the 56 was it i think it was you're going to get better battery life out of this um, and i think the old one from memory was around seven hours with the quad hd it was over 10 hours with the full hd version so i expect to get somewhere around eight nine maybe ten out of the quad hd and i expect that the full hd should be better than 10 hours so we'll see how it performs so there you have it that's my quick and dirty unboxing of the kb lake version of the dell xps 13. make sure you subscribe if you want to see the full review i'll be covering this in lots of depth and if you're new and you're just interested make sure you subscribe there i have lots more tech content coming soon and i'd really like to thank you guys for watching and until next time guys tally ho <laughs>